Hi, my name's Jay Wright, and I'm a Director of Business Development at Qualcomm, working on augmented reality. And what Qualcomm's doing in augmented reality is bringing to market an SDK for developers to build vision-based AR applications. And we talk about vision-based vision AR, what we mean is applications that recognize certain objects in the environment and then are able to display 3D interactive experiences on top of those images. So one of the common uses for this SDK has been games, and we're going to take a look at one of the games that's been developed with this SDK right now. So what I'm going to show you is a game called AR Zombie Gate. This was actually developed by one of Qualcomm's OEM partners, Pantech. And what this does is it allows me to point my device at a picture of some doors, and when I look at those doors, they will open up to reveal an entire cemetery full of zombies that then start to come towards me. And what I need to do is move my device back and forth to see the zombies in different parts of the cemetery so I can get a good angle on them to shoot them with the gun. You can see I'm quickly going to be overwhelmed with, with zombies here. But great example of what's possible with AR. I can take any gaming experience now and put it into the real world. And we're talking with you now from Mobile World Congress in Barcelona 2012. I'm here to show you some examples of what we've done with the Vuforia augmented reality platform. It's been a year since we last showed you some applications and we've had some amazing progress. So first we'd like to show an R&D example of something that we worked on with Sesame Street. And what this is, is a children's playset that we have enhanced with augmented reality. So the playset includes many play pieces that you've probably seen before and other toys. And it also has a special element, these pads. And these pads are designed to represent the floor from different rooms in Bert and Ernie's house. So what children do is they put these together and then they put the toys on top and they make up stories for the char characters to talk to each other. But there's actually a very special element when we introduce Vuforia technology and we're going to show that to you now. So I'm going to put down this room, which is Bert and Ernie's apartment. And Julie is now going to bring up the tablet, and, and we're going to see here that the floor has created the room for Bert and Ernie's apartment. And we know it's Bert and Ernie's apartment because we can see their picture right there on the wall. But let's see what happens when we actually put Ernie, the toy, inside this scene. So. Because it's loud here, it's hard for us to hear the audio, but Ernie has actually started talking to us, and this toy has actually come alive. So unlike other augmented reality technology you may have seen, which recognizes images, we're able to actually recognize these 3D objects, just like this toy that you've seen. And the graphics have been structured in such a way that they actually envelop that full 3D toy, creating the effect that this model has come to life. So Ernie has actually just told us that he'd like us to find another of his Sesame Street friends. So I'm going to go ahead and bring his best friend Bert into the scene. Hey Bert. So you can see Bert has just appeared and Ernie has actually recognized him and they're having a little conversation. So you can imagine this toy working with all these different play pieces, children arrange them in different ways, and based on their arrangement, they have different kinds of interaction. And we've also found that this is something that's more educational for children, because these characters are now asking the child to do different things. For example, Bert just said, hey, let's find something to watch. So it just so happens we have a TV, and we're going to go ahead and put the TV in the scene. And you can see the TV has now been recognized, and we're going to start to play a video on top. So technology-wise, we continue to push the envelope. Here we're actually recognizing an image, multiple 3D objects, all at the same time. Requires a tremendous amount of computing power, and we're taking care of that with tight integration of hardware and software with Euphoria in this demonstration. So now I'd like to show a few examples of commercial applications. There are now over 350 applications in the Android and Apple app stores using Vuforia technology. And many of those applications are from large brands who are using them to create engagement with consumers at the point of advertising, in magazines and printed materials, at the point of sale where products are coming alive on the shelf, and actually at the point of use where they're creating engagement with the product at home to encourage the consumer to purchase more of that product. So let's take a look at a couple of these applications. The first one I'd like to show you is from Moose Jaw, and Moose Jaw is actually an outdoor clothing manufacturer 
that has done this catalog that is called the Moose Ray X-Ray Edition. If I open the magazine, we can see here, or the catalog rather, it says get the Moose Jaw X-Ray app. Julia happens to have the Moose Jaw X-Ray app. So let's see what happens when we look at this. So I'm going to open this up, and we'll see here there's actually a, well, maybe a somewhat risque example of augmented reality technology that shows a little alternative form of attire for the model in this magazine. And we can go through, and there's many different pages that have these kinds of glasses. And as it happens, some are women and some are men. But what's really important and significant about this is that Moose Jaw was able to drive sales, to increase sales by 37% in the month that they did this. So I think extremely compelling and demonstrates the value of augmented reality technology to drive engagement and actually drive sales. So let's move on to another example of a little bit different use of augmented reality. And this time we're going to use it to understand how we might learn how to use something like a complex piece of machinery or equipment. In this case, I have brought with me my desk phone from my office at work. So I'm going to show you this phone. And one of the challenges I actually have with my phone is I have a hard time remembering the sequence of buttons I need to push to make a conference call. So with Euphoria, we're able to take that user manual and deliver it with augmented reality. So Julia, why don't you show us how this works? So here we're going to select the model of phone we have. And now I have a list of tutorials I can go through. We're going to scroll down to conference call. And now it's going to ask me to point this at my phone. So Julia puts it in front of the phone. And you'll notice here, now I'm going to get step-by-step -step instructions that show me exactly what I need to do. And it actually draws a little box around the buttons I need to push in the order I need to push them. So it says, dial your first number. So I can go now, dial my first number. I can go ahead, press next. It shows me the next button to push, and so on. So an extremely simple way for me to see instructions for something and how to use it. And it might not be just using something. These could be instructions to repair or assemble. And it could certainly be broader than telephones. It could be any kind of appliance. It could be putting together furniture or anything that had a user manual that used to have a little diagram that we'd look at. It's a perfect application for augmented reality. So again, these are just a few examples, but Vuforia technology is being widely adopted, and we've made a huge amount of progress since last year, and I hope to see a ton more of these types of applications in the next year to come.